In computer networks, there are two main methods of encrypting data, symmetric encryption and asymmetric encryption. Symmetric encryption is like using the same key to lock and unlock a safe. You have to give the key to anyone who needs to unlock the safe, and keep it secret from anyone who might want to steal the contents of the safe. If the key is lost or stolen, you have to create a new one and get it to the right people. This method can be very fast and efficient, but it's not ideal if you need to share information with a large group of people or if you need to keep the information very secure. An example of symmetric encryption would be a password-protected zip file. You create a zip file containing all the files you want to encrypt, and then you set a password to protect the contents. Anyone who wants to access the files must have the password, and if the password is lost or stolen, you'll need to create a new zip file with a new password. Asymmetric encryption, on the other hand, is like having two different keys for a safe, one to lock it and one to unlock it. You keep the unlocking key, called the private key, secret, and you give the locking key, called the public key, to anyone who needs to send you secure information. When someone wants to send you a message, they use your public key to encrypt the message, and only you can decrypt it with your private key. An example of asymmetric encryption would be sending an encrypted email using PGP, pretty good privacy. You generate a public-private key pair, and then you give your public key to anyone who wants to send you an encrypted email. When someone sends you an email, they encrypt it using your public key, and then you use your private key to decrypt the message. In many cases, both symmetric and asymmetric encryption are used together to provide both security and speed. For example, if you want to send a large file to someone securely, you might use asymmetric encryption to send them a key for a symmetric encryption algorithm. They would then use the symmetric encryption algorithm to encrypt and decrypt the file using the key you provided. Overall, both symmetric and asymmetric encryption are important tools for keeping sensitive information safe in today's computer network environments. This is Cybex. We hope you find this well, please hit the subscription button and stay cyber secure.